at the <laughs> lowest point in our lives, you know, and we yes. figure, oh, I can't do this, but God yes. can. God yes. can. That's why for and, me, I don't, yes. I just, I just, you know, I just surround myself with um positive, positive thoughts. Because <laughs> it's not easy. I know it ain't you know, easy. You, you know, know, I know it's not easy. Um, life is hard. I was talking to yeah. my doctor last night in the office. We were there. I felt eaten. See, life is hard, you know? Yeah. Life yes. is difficult. And so when yes. we get that diagnosis that we have cancer and we don't know what to do, I tell you what, while you're laying down and you feel like you're on the bed of affliction, think of it as the bed of recovery. And God yes. is just, hey, well, don't yes. say this. Yes. You know, you said something there about, you know, God is in the boat. Jesus is in the boat. Mm-hmm. And what we have to remember when Jesus is in the boat, it never sinks. Amen. Amen. You know? Praise God. And it so, never, never. Amen. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Had Jesus gone to see Lazarus, he wouldn't have died. Why? <laughs> Not something. Because why? He is life. Wherever he is, there is life. And that's yeah. why he said, I give you eternal life. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And so we get so fearful that we miss our progress because we can't see that we can get better. This is just God saying, what are you eating? Mm. What are you drinking? Mm. What are you taking into your mind? What are you doing with your thoughts? It's God talking to you when sickness comes. It is not a date with the doctor. No. And it's, if we can just begin to think that way, we would realize that God has given us doctors. Yes. So you can talk to them. And say, this is what I'm doing. Could you take my blood and see how it's doing? Because you can't take your own blood unless you're, uh, uh, what do you call that word? Lobot- however you say, lobotomist. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you can't go take your own blood. So you go and you see him and you talk to him, but you don't give him your life. You give your life to God. Yes, 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 yes. It's our time to talk with him. Going through yes. trials, it's your time to talk to him. No matter what you're facing, it's our time to talk to him, to talk to yes. the master. That's what he wants. He's, he was looking for that one-on-one time with us. And he's like, you know something? I'm going to corner he or she. I'm going to put them in a situation where they have no other choice but to talk to me. So yes. that's how I look at it, honestly. Yeah. So Because yes. we all go through something. It just depends on what it is. Yes. yes. You know? and, how we, and how we view it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, as you, you could talk about that all day, but let's talk about how we can help people with this protocol, with this breast cancer. We're going to talk about the diet of it, and then we're going to talk about some other um, very, uh, I guess, what I want to call it, pertinent information. All of this is very important. All of what mm-hmm. we're sharing this morning is important. And I'm just so mm-hmm. happy to have um, in the house this morning, my dear sister friend, Bernie Nanton, who I've known for many years. As a matter of fact, we just went live on YouTube too. So I just thought I'd welcome our YouTube audience whenever they get to watch this um, video um, on breast cancer. Today is the last day of the month for breast cancer awareness. And there are so many women who and men who are suffering from breast cancer. And so we just thought, why not something better, do something special for our people. So all flesh and its byproducts, that is a diet consisting of meat, sausage, eggs, and milk, and butter, and cheese, and cake, and ice cream, and that sounds like yum. Diets high in fat and with meat and dairy products that are loaded with what we call xenoestrogens have a role in contributing to the formation of painful lumps. You get that? Avoiding animal-based products and foods, which is which are high in estrogen, as estrogen promotes fast growth of breast cells in women. So we need to cut back on that. We need to cut back. I don't say cut back, sorry. I said the wrong word. Cut it off. Right, Burns? Cut it off. Am I right? You got to cut it off altogether. This is the Bernie Gold. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm here. So we want to avoid the animal products. I know you have, you're going to be like, um, your day there. You've got to avoid the animal products, the milk contains high levels of estrogen. And Mm -hmm. um, so we want to do plant-based milks, right? Instead of the animal milks, we are the only um, mammal, we're the only animal still drinking milk from an animal. Then the baby calf goes, grows, no longer drinks milk. He eats what his mama's eating. 
Why are we eating and still drinking cow's milk? Only God knows. And goat's milk. Because people say, oh, but cow's milk's not good. But you can do the goat's milk. It says it's supposed to be good. Who said? Who's they anyhow? That's what I have to say. <laughs> anyway, so milk sugar from animal milk, lactose and galactose can cause ovarian cancer. And we yeah, should yeah. avoid any food with yeast. If you're having cancer, please, people, avoid any food with yeast. Bread, nutritional yeast, bruised yeast, avoid it at all costs. Because yeast is a fungus, and fungus foods can cause mm -hmm. and feed cancer. Okay? Now, we do promote one food that's um a fungus, but that's medicinally. And you're only using it two weeks on and two weeks off. And that would be the shiitake and the maitake um, mushrooms. Those would be the only ones that people would support um, in terms of uh, fungus. We should avoid eating sugary foods. Sugar feeds cancer. I can't talk about sugar enough. Let me tell you. Sugar feeds what? Cancer. All right. All white food flour products like the pastas, the pastries. Obviously, this is so important. We have it here again and again and again because we need to be avoiding it at all costs. Because when we think of sugar, we're thinking of a food that puts our immune system to sleep. We don't want our immune system to be at sleep. We want it to be awakened and be able to fight whatever it is that you're experiencing. And if you're taking in two, three, four, five, six teaspoons set, um, of, of sugar in one sitting, because I don't say one meal, because if you're having a slice of cake, you're getting more than that in one slice of cake. And some people, you know, we like sweets, you know. Um, it says, all white food flour products, this can break down into simple sugars as well as create constipation, which needs to be avoided because we want to make sure that the bowels are cleansed. One of the things that Dr. Maimon Wilson, one of my favorite um, medical missionaries, he says the first thing he asks about when he's doing what they call a um, consultation, how are the bowels? Is, uh, you know, is it moving? You may have to do some animals, you know? So that's what, we, that's what we're going to support. We support that. Gluten found in wheat and rye and barley and spelt should be avoided. This increases the risk of inflammation and autoimmune conditions. Ms. Burns, feel free to interrupt me at any time. So we should avoid the chocolate, the yes. cooked oils, the fried foods, the salt and or, or drink beverages like the ones pictured here. Yep, I'm talking about all those ones pictured there with alcohol or caffeine. Caffeine in coffee, colas, and so-called energy drinks and teas like the green and the chai and the red and the white and the black and the Lipton. It has theophylline. We've been talking about this from last week. Theophylline and, and the theobramine, theo, theobramine in chocolate all have been shown to contribute to inflammation and should be eliminated from our diet. We've been talking about this from last week. Remember, we talked about the um, AMP and how when we eat these foods, it doesn't shut it off. Unfortunately, what happens is it continues to cause the, the cells in the breast tissue to grow. And so we need to really be avoiding these things. So I, I say to you this, if you're eating chocolate bars and you're still consuming things with, with caffeine, you need to avoid it at all costs, at all costs. Now, and I'm Molly, say, go mm -hmm. ahead. Go I was going to say, you know, it's sad when we don't understand because everybody brings... Like, you know, green tea, how yes. wonderful it is. Yes. But it's caffeinated yes. tea. Yes. So if we don't understand what it does, then we think, oh, I'm going to pile up on that, you know? And we don't know. That's why it's good to just stay simple. All those yes, fancy things, go yes, back to the before those fancy yes. things. Everybody yeah. making money. <laughs> and so that comes up. I just wanted to also say one thing. You talk about the estrogen. Yes. Um, because when that is high in the body, then it makes cancer just grow, proliferate it. Mm -hmm. So we need something in the body that can handle and get rid of the load of estrogen in the body. And one of the things that do that is iodine. Where's that slide? So, I can put it up there. You want me to put it up there, the information you share with me? On yeah, the you iodine? can put it there. Or the iodine. Just... Yeah. Um, there's a book written by Dr. Bernstein, Brownstein, I might not be saying his name right. And he writes, he says, iodine, why we should, why we can't live without it, because it's in all of our cells. But he says in every cancer patient, there's a lack of iodine. Hmm. Because when the iodine is in the body, it, wow. it helps to fight cancer. Wow. Just like vitamin C, when you have yeah. enough for that in your body, it's going to fight inflammation. 
right. and all of a sudden everybody's telling you you can't just take regular ascorbic acid is poisonous is this and that let's go back to back to eating yeah <laughs> you know? There was no such thing, but now there are all these new things. And we have to remember, Satan wants to keep you sick, so he's bringing you things that throw you off from healing. Hmm. That sounds yeah. real good. He's okay. a master at that. He's a master. He's a master at Yes. This is what he has studied in, his, in the laboratory of the devil. Yes. That's what he does. Here, I'm putting yeah. mm -hmm. here's, here's just a few things about cancer, about um, iodine. It I'm can shrink... It cysts in the ovaries it can shrink cysts in the ovaries the uterus the breast and the thyroid if these cysts are left in the body without enough iodine then those cysts that weren't cancerous will become cancerous that's because iodine has an anti has anti cancer properties it's also very good at regulating, see there, estrogen dominance and bring estrogen levels to normal. Wow, that's awesome. That is amazing. It's Where an amazing thing. There's a doctor in North Carolina. His name is Dr. Fletcher. And he has, he treats mainly breast cancer. And he says once he puts his patients, who he's giving um, also, he's allowing them to use um, allopathic medicine too. He's not just cutting off everything, but he mm -hmm. says when he puts his patients on iodine, mm -hmm. he is amazed at the progress and the healing that begins to take place. Praise so God. iodine does wonderful things. And like I said, that book... Um, that book is called, I have to, I'd have to find it on Amazon. I think it's Dr. Brownstein. Okay. I can probably I find it while we're talking. I'm going to share this information in our group right now. So okay. those um, here this morning will be able to access that information that Sister Bernie put together um, on the iodine. So the question is, where do we get it other than iodine salt? Oh, you can, well, if, if, if your patients can get to um uh Amazon, you can find some. No, it's quite expensive. The liquid is not so expensive, which is the Lugal solution liquid, where you take um two drops because it's those two drops is 12.5 milligrams of 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 the iodine. Now you know water cross, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. He, he presented on my platform before. Oh, he did. Wonderful. Yeah. That's my good friend. Yeah. yeah. And so Ask what, come back. <laughs> I will tell him, I will tell him yeah. you want him to come back. Yeah. What Walt um, told me, he, he sells something called Lugo tabs and he can mail to your place. He doesn't need, you don't, he, it's not on Amazon. So, but you can order from Walt and he sells something called Lugo tabs. And he says, Lugo? when you have breast, Lugo, Lugo tab, I'm going to tell you right now. One second. L-U-G-A-L. Google yes. Tabs. Yes. Google Tabs. Let me see if I see. For iodine, right? Okay. Lugo. Lugo. I'm saying Lugo. It's Lugo. L-U-G-O-T-A-B. L-U. Hold on. L-U-G-O-T-A-B. T-A-B. Okay. Yes. And he says when there's breast cancer then you need to take at least 50 milligrams of that stuff every day. Wow. wow. And the other thing that you could do with the liquid is you get, you know, the, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call that liquid again? My brain is gone to sleep right now. That's okay. But um, it's a Lugal solution. You can find Lugal solution in on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And what you will do with that, it, if you say you have lumps in the breast, you mm -hmm. would take some of that solution and you mix it with a little bit of um, a little bit of castor oil because castor oil is such a deep, it goes deep into the into the tissues of the body and it brings whatever it has with it. So if you put the the iodine with the with the castor oil and rub into the cyst morning, 
evening, you will begin to see that cyst soften. And before you know it, that cyst begin to shrink. But you're not, you can't just depend on that. You need your good diet. You need your water. You need your exercise. You need to be talking to the Lord because it's God that's bringing the healing. Mm. Now, Marlene, it's very interesting that I'm on here this morning because as I'm trying to I know, to you, it's, I just, it's just crazy I'm because... <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking that had to be God, right? I'm fixing breakfast for my hairdresser. I'm, I have an appointment. And she's not vegetarian, but every time I go to see her, she has vegetarian breakfast. She looks forward to it. So if you hear noise back here, it's because I'm making breakfast to take to Leslie this morning. So, but this morning I was talking to the Lord and I said, you know, God, so much to share. And you know, Bernie, I'm up and down. I'm trying to work and do all kind of crazy things. I came out here and I see your message pop up. And I said, let me just go listen. I won't yeah. even let you know I'm there. Oh, you see, and, that's the thing about it. I can yeah. see you. See, I was mm, I forgot you can see. so I could see. I have, <laughs> I, I have three devices set up most mornings so I could make sure I see and don't miss people because I don't want people to think I'm Oh, missing. my goodness. So yeah. I was shocked when you said my sister is here. Mm -hmm. But, um, yes, yeah, so... For the cancer, that is a is a must in your diet. Amen, amen. It is. And again, and one more thing, not from the i not from iodine salt. No, no, no. That's not good source of it. Wow. It's, and the yeah. and the, the the breads that we eat because it has bromine in it, it's taking our iodine out. So just imagine that we've got. We need iodine, and iodine used to be in our bread many years ago, and they replaced it with something that took over the receptor, receptor sites where the iodine would go to, and they bring something that attaches itself to those receptors that's very toxic, and that is bromine, and it's in your bread. Mm. Wow. Wow. Well, is it, would it be in um, all breads or just... Most breads. most breads, I I won't say all, but yeah. I will say most. Mm. Have you ever listened to Barbara? She talks. She goes into it in detail. Barbara O'Neill. O'Neill, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I listen yeah. to her all the time. Yeah, she mm. talks about that of how much of it, how much it is in our bread and our baked goods, so the cookies and all that has it. Amen. Wow. Wow. So we got to research that a bit more. That's yes. Are, where am I any? Yes. Research that. I will. I yes. will. Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, looking for one person who I know wanted to be here today. I said, of course, we know alcohol consumption and smoking. Definitely a no-no. Definitely a no-no. So we want to, you know, just cut it out. Simple. I mean, I know it's not as simple as I'm saying it to cut it out, but I'm just saying, you know, that it's definitely something we want to avoid at all cost, you know? Yeah. Is it worth that? Say it and again. For. Say it again. You know? I said, is it worth is it worth dying for? Yeah, not really. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, it's not worth dying for. No, I said you said it. Yes, you said it's not, you know, it's not as easy. But the question to ask is not how easy it is. Is mm -hmm. it is, is it worth dying for? Mm. No. Nope. Okay. So it becomes easy if you answer that question. I'll tell you this. I was talking to uh -huh. a gentleman. I was, I was um, at the office and I, I, one of the patients came and they said, oh, he's dying. We're surprised to see him still alive. As a matter of fact, he looks great. And I'm thinking, what? So um, she said, they said, yeah, he's dying. I said, from what? They said, he's, his, his, kidneys have, his kidneys have shut down, basically. And I'm like, oh. So I just thought, I thought let me just talk to him. And I said, do you want to live? He says, nah, whatever, it's whatever. And I'm like, what? I said, may I talk to you? And Because they were so negative around him. I'm telling you this negative thing. Oh, he's dying. You don't care. What are you talking about? This man has life. What are you talking about? And I'm like, I, I wish I could just shut you guys out for a moment. I said, please, don't talk. 
<laughs> I literally saw the, the, the co-workers. I said, okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. And all I said to him was, how old are you? He said, 66. I said, you're 66. I said, but you've been promised 70 years. And by reason of strength, 80. And I saw when his eyes just like, what? He had never heard it before. And in addition to that, um, I said, you have, your kidneys are failing, but that's not the problem. Let's get to the root of the problem. He said, it's high blood pressure. I said, okay. And then, you know, we just started talking, just talking about people cutting on certain things, you know, and I was like, well, why don't you just go raw for a couple of days or for the rest of your life? I said, and you'll see your, your, your everything's going to get better. And he was like, raw? I can't do that. You know, I said, yes, you can. I said, because you want to live, you know? So it's just trying to get people to understand, yeah. you know, yeah. that they can live and we are supposed to be here for a certain amount of years. I said, you are going to die before your time. I'm telling you, I got his attention. He looked at me square in the face and he was like, that's the first time he had ever heard that message. Yes, I, please God. I, help you, let me help you. I said, I'd love to help you. get your, He said, I don't have anybody to help me. I don't have nobody to help me to do all of what you're saying. I said, but we can help you. I can find people to help you, you know? So it's yeah. just a, it's like it's a hopeless world. So smoking, yes. avoid all the processed, highly processed salted foods, including the pickles and the salt beef and the salt. Let's just quickly go through very quickly. And then we're going to concentrate on other areas. I see that question. We're coming to it. Avoid crystallized and refined sugars, including artificial sweeteners. Okay. Um, sugar causes inflammation in the body and lowers the immune system, increases your risk for infections and is linked to eight different types of cancers, colon, rectal, breast, ovarian, uterine, prostate, kidney, and cancer of the nervous system. It is recommended to moderately use natural sweeteners such as honey and dates and raisins and molasses and bananas and cane sugar, moderately, moderately. High fructose corn syrup is a no-no. In addition to the fact that it does lead to um, obesity and diabetes, um, we should be very careful not to utilize these kinds of foods. So you should be reading your labels, um, reading your labels as far as possible because high fructose corn syrup is a, in lots of the foods that we're eating, okay? Um, unfortunately, it's there. And it says here that, it, Ma, mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah, the other thing that high fruct fructose corn syrup some does sometimes it doesn't say that on your package. Yeah. It just say added sugar. <laughs> That's sad. usually what it is. Wow. It's sad. And then reversing cancer, excessive amounts of sugar should be avoided. And like we said before, we should be avoiding um coffee as it is linked to cancer such as bladder, breast, and ovarian cancer. Of course, we're focusing on breast cancer. It also leads to a pan pancreatic cancer and colon cancer. Okay. We should avoid we should avoid nuts that have been heated. Um right. hold on for me, please. Sorry about that. So we want to avoid nuts that have been heated as this can become a saturated fat. We should avoid excess omega-6 fatty acids found in corn and safflower oils as they seem to promote rapid cell division. <clears throat> the free use of oil should be cut back in any event. You should not be using oil so freely as far as possible. You can find other ways of bringing flavor to your food because you know fat brings flavor. Um, if you want to, you can add your olive oil after cooking. Um, like you could kind of stir stir it in a little after. You can do the avocado oil. We should also prevent um, carcinogens such as aflatoxins from the use of moldy peanuts and other nuts and moldy corn and moldy cheese rind, moldy apples in any form or other fruits affected by soft rot. We should be avoiding these foods, you know, sometimes you go to the food store and they have these baskets of fruit that they say um, on special. You don't want anything that's rotting and on special. As far as possible, make sure your specials are still fresh, okay? Avoid salted, um, salt cured, smoked and nitrite cured foods um, as frequent as Sorry, foods as frequent use can cause cancer of the esophagus and of the, of the stomach. 
Chloride, its high concentration in some salt should be avoided. And we should not be taking iron supplements. We should get it from the foods we eat instead of supplements. You can get an all natural food iron supplement. <clears throat> um, Amazon has one. And if you'd like, you can always reach out to me. I can give you that um, that bottle. It's a uh, it's just food. It's just food. There's nothing else in there. And so that would be probably my number one choice. Is that there Floridix? Are, there's Floridix, and then there's another one that Amazon carries. I'll have to run. Okay. It's called um yeah, Floridix is definitely one. It comes in liquid and tablets, and then there's another one that Amazon carries. It's just food, just food. I'll run in the, in, and get it as we come to an end. Please remind me. <clears throat> um, the director of the National Instit Cancer Institute, Division of Cancer prevention and control concludes a greater number of studies have shown that a diet rich in fruits and vegetables has a protective huh, against effect against cancer. Praise God. Fiber, eating lots of fiber is also a protection okay, against cancer because increasing your fiber intake eliminates carcinogens from your body. Okay, so eating lots of fruits and vegetables and nuts and grains, it sounds to me like a plant-based diet. Hallelujah. All right. Um, this is the diet that God has designed for our healing and for the reversal of these ailments such as cancer. All right. So you want to get your whole grains like the millet and the oats and the quinoa and the brown rice and the wild rice, the amaranth and the barley. These are the grains that you want to, you know, beef up on. And vitamin B found in garlic and sesame, banana, chickpea, whole grains, rice, and avocado, potatoes, and sunflower seeds. Vitamin C, you know, found in all of our fresh fruits and vegetables. These are the things you want to beef up on. Calcium, getting it from your foods, the sesame seeds, the carob, pow carob powder or flour, high in calcium. Soybean, um, almond, cabbage, and then we should do weight-bearing exercises, such as walking, Okay, and remember you need vitamin D because a lot of patients also have found that they are deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D has not B as in boy, but D as in dog. Vitamin D deficiency is high in persons with cancer. Very, very high. Okay, so make sure that you are getting your vitamin D for calcium to be absorbed. Therefore, C recommended, which is sunlight exposure times, um, or supplemental values. Be cautious with the use of calcium tablets if you take diuretics, water pills, previously had kidney stones, or problems with your parathyroid glands. If you've had any of these issues, then you need to be careful supplementing on calcium. Go ahead, Ms. Bernie. Everybody. No, I was going to say, no, I, I heard you say about the vitamin D, and I was going to say that is so true. Yeah. Um, during COVID, they realized a lot of people who died, mm -hmm. their vitamin D was almost, vitamin D was, so so low like bottoming out <laughs> yeah. yeah and you know of course people with our skin color we don't get as much that's you know? right so i remember when i i had been tested and i was low and i knew i would have been low because one i'm not outside in the sun as much as i'd like to be and um yeah i just expect i kind of expected it but um we need to be careful of our vitamin d levels make sure to get it tested before you start supplementing okay um, beef up your magnesium. You can get it all these foods that are here listed. Pumpkin seeds and cashew, buckwheat, tofu, dates, and potato. Raw apricot seeds helps to destroy cancer cells and builds the immune system. Um, you may have to order those on Amazon if you live here in the Bahamas. The pink Himalayan salt. Ms. Bernie was just talking about the use of iodine. Use natural sea salts with iodine, such as the pink Himalayan salt, sea salt, has... Um, iodine in there. Somebody asked, how much should we take of the iodine? I imagine you want to go with what's recommended on the container if you're taking the um the the, the the first the first place yes. The first place to begin is to ask your doctor to check it. Yeah. Check your iodine and see what your levels are. Yeah. However, you know, there was a simple test. Did you know that there's a simple test? Yes. You could put it test. on your skin. You put, put it, it on, on your, your skin. skin. Mm -hmm. You know that mm -hmm. one? Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. You can put it on your skin and you you leave it for a few hours. Yes. And, and sometimes if you're if you're really low, as soon as you put it on your skin, it disappears. Yeah. That tells you that, ooh, he's gone. 
I'm you know, gonna have everybody tested at the workplace just today. Yeah. <laughs> gonna have just test and see. But when you, you go to your, your doctor, just, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, put it inside your arm somewhere, like you know, turn your your palm over and just put it mm-hmm. somewhere on inside your arm there, mm-hmm. and just leave it a couple yeah. of hours. Check it, see if it's still there, right? Um, or if it has faded away. If it's faded away in a few minutes or so, it means that it, your body needs more of it. Okay, but and then- um. Look mm-hmm. at what's on the screen. It's amazing. You said to me, I don't remember all that was here, but it says studies have suggested that women who are iodine deficient have a predisposition toward developing breast cancer and breast yes. cysts. Iodine is essential for proper functioning of the thyroid gland, which regulates the metabolic rate of every cell in the human body. So this is very important information. Obviously, it's so important that God had it here. Miss Bernie talked about it. We stopped, talked about it, and now it's here again. So someone in this group, maybe even me, needs to check their iodine level to make sure that we don't become predisposed for breast cysts. Okay? Yeah. Check your iodine levels. There's a simple way of doing it. You can come by my office. I I, 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 I sneak you in. <laughs> don't tell my doctor. But we have a lot of iodine. Just get some iodine. Go to the pharmacy. Get some iodine. Put it on your arm. I'm telling you. Um, this is an easy Check way see. of checking your levels. To see mm-hmm. what you like. mm-hmm. I remember doing it many years ago. Many, many years ago. Yeah. And yeah. it says protect your DNA by eating the following foods rich in antioxidants, instead of garlic, cruciferous vegetables would be the broccoli, the cauliflower, the cabbage, and those kinds of foods. Sufficient B12, folic acid, and magnesium. You want to make sure that your levels are at their optimum. Antioxidants such as lycopene, vitamins A, C, E, selenium, genistein, as in the soybean, stops free radicals from harming the cell. Okay. Other rich foods, um, foods rich in antioxidants would be the strawberries, the cherries, the plums, the oranges, the red, white grapes, kiwi, grapes with the seed, preferably the grapefruit. I mean, I have all of these here this morning. I just, because yesterday was our raw day. So I had all my grapefruit and it was so good. And these are the things you want to eat beef up on, the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, the red bell peppers, the onions, the um, pomegranates, the tomatoes, and the apples. Lycopene, of course, we know where it's found. We always talk about the tomatoes, but it's also found in watermelon, cooked tomatoes, guava, apricots. There was a study done on the Adventist Health study showed that men who used tomatoes at least five times a week had a 40% lower risk of developing prostate cancer. So I say, men, beef up on your tomatoes and have some every day. Steamed cruciferous vegetables can turn bad estrogen into good estrogen. You know, Bruce Bernie and I, but she was talking about it earlier. How do we get that estrogen level to shift to lower? So, hey, I don't know about you, but I want to run to the store right now and get me some cabbage so I can have some stir fried cabbage because it lowers the estrogen levels. Um, they are also excellent in building resistance and fighting cancer. These, these foods are broccoli, kale, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Using kelp for iodine. Remember Ms. Bernie was talking, I said to get the kelp. We use the kelp in some of our recipes. So girls and guys, yeah. Yeah, just try and get some kelp. Um, use yes. the kelp for iodine with cruciferous foods as it's got go, go through genic, genetic, sorry, compounds, rob iodine. You get that? So using kelp for iodine with cruciferous foods as it's go Gotrogenic compounds robs iodine from the thyroid gland, which is essential in regulating the hormones. Some of these cruciferous vegetables are coarse and should be steamed in order to make them easier for digestion. Remember, we do not do raw kale, and these some of them are too coarse. So try to make sure you steam them lightly first. Indole, an organic compound, is found is formed when these cruciferous vegetables are cooked. According to the Journal of Nutrition in 2001, indole helps kill precancerous cells before they turn malignant. Huh? So let's just beef up on these cruciferous vegetables and the broccoli and the cauliflower and the cabbage and the list is here, the um, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, those are the foods we want to beef up on as much as possible. Our herbs. Remember I said we would talk about that today. And as promised, we won't go. We can't fail you. So the herbs, the text found in Psalms 104 and verse 14, you know, the Bible tells us that he causes the grass to grow for the cattle and the herb 
for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth. Using red clover tea for all in between meals for five days a week. That's what we should be doing. Now, red clover, as I've noted, is high in estrogen. So if your cancer is estrogen driven, then you want to lower your intake. The red clover tea is one that we should drink almost every day because it is a blood purifier. One cup of red clover daily, add one cup of blue violet, golden seal, or chaparral. Take this daily for three weeks. Okay. You can also use the kelp, the garlic, the burdock, sheep sorrow, comfrey, violet, echinacea, podiarco. Mixing three ounces each in just water, enough water to make it stick. Make two tablespoons, sorry, take two tablespoons four times daily. Um, for tumorous growths, a uh, herbal formula would be the following. You could get one part St. John's wort, one part chaparral, two parts alfalfa, two parts podiaco, one part violet leaves, two parts echinacea, half a quart of kelp. Mix the ingredients all together. Take two tablespoons in eight ounces of water and drink this three times a day. You want to probably do a screenshot of that so you can have that formula for later on. This is what we call a herbal formula. The Asiac tea, I heard learned of this about 20 years ago or more. Taking six and a half cups of burdock root, one cup of sheep sorrel, one ounce of turkey rhubarb root, and four ounces of slippery elm. And this will help to make in what we call the Asiac tea. All right, measure eight ounces of the dry formula, bring two gallons of distilled water to a boil in a stainless steel pot and allow to bo brisk boil for 30 minutes. Then put the mix into, a, into the boiling water <clears throat> and stir. Allow the mix to boil for 10 minutes. Allow it to sit and cool for six hours. After six hours, stir it thoroughly, <clears throat> sorry, with a wooden or stainless steel spoon. Allow it to sit for six hours more. Return the, the pot to the stove and bring it to a boil. This is a long process, but this is to make sure that you're getting the full benefit of these herbs. At the boiling point, at the boiling point, sorry, turn off the heat. Pour the content through a strainer into stainless steel containers. Bottle the tea into a dark amber bottle and seal when it's hot. <clears throat> Directions for use. Heat only two ounces, four tablespoons of distilled, then mix it with two ounces of tea taken directly from the fridge. Should be taken on an empty stomach at least two hours after eating. Okay. So Where would you have all that instruction, Molly? Huh? Where would you have all that instruction? Well, this here will be on YouTube, so they can always go back and screenshot the information. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they can screenshot. I am recording today, but I don't need to record. I really could have stopped. But I'm going to leave it up on YouTube and they can just go there. You can review this information and um, utilize it for, you know, Michelle and I did a lot of work when we put these programs together. And I just thought I had to share it again. You know, um, it take, you know, take it in the morning. Do not eat for at least two hours. Keep the refrigerator and shake well. A lot of this information I can't take credit for. A lot of us, we did the research, and we also got a lot of research from this beautiful book written by Dr. Maimon Wilson. You should purchase one. Get it today. It's called Cancer. You can order it. Call um, Centurion Ministries and get a copy. I promise you, it may be life-saving. Okay? Every form of cancer that you can think of is in this book and all the protocols to go with it. So you don't have to be calling him and bothering him and wearing up my poor doctor. You can get that book and have it in your arsenal. You know, I like to say in your, in your, um, on your support team. Then remember, I talked about the enemas and at Advanced Family Medicine. We're now getting ready to offer enemas in about a week and a half or two. So those of us who would like to come and benefit from these life-saving enemas, we're going to be providing these enemas on Sundays. Um, you can just book the appointment through my WhatsApp. Or you can call the office and book a time on Sunday. I don't think it's this Sunday, but the following Sunday, I'll be there. And we'll be administering animals to persons who'd like. So here's another formula. It says, take the no enema intestinal cleanser three times daily. Take a coffee enema two times daily. Do a fever bath or a steam bath four times weekly. An ice bath four times weekly. And I made ice. <laughs> Mix one third 
each astragalus, vichy mushroom, shiitake mushroom. Remember, we talked about those mushrooms earlier. Red raspberry, St. John's wort, two pounds of periwinkle together with four quarts of water to make the tea and drink four ounces three times a day. Eat the white peelings of four oranges, four lemons, and two grapefruits daily. This is a long protocol, but, you know, this is just something that we, like I said, we put it together, and I just thought it would be great to share. Again, we're almost at the end. I think I'm almost there. It says drink six glasses of water daily. Of course, if you're drinking your teas, and your teas don't have any sugar, it's added water, so that's even better. Um, eat this cruciferous vegetable combination twice daily. It's a green powder formula. I actually made this when we were in Germany some years ago. And you're going to mix the following. Cabbage, broccoli, kale, turnip greens, tomato, green, um, barley greens, alfalfa, wheatgrass, spirulina, carrot, and beets. And these are in its dried form, not fresh. These are dried. And then you're going to use it every day. If you'd like to have more information on the topic um, that we are talking about today, which is cancer, um, you can feel free to... Uh, Purchase this book. <laughs> I was going to say, WhatsApp me. You can, you can WhatsApp me. And I'd be happy to sit down with you at Advanced Family Medicine, where I now work. And you can come in and we will do consultations with you if you want to go the natural route. That's the way we want to go. Otherwise, you can also get this book. You can also reach out to Dr. Wilson um, at Centurion Ministries. You can also reach out to Sister Bernie Nanton, who is on our platform this morning. And... Um, I'd like to show you where you'd be going. She she only shared one picture with me, though, sis. One picture. She only shared one picture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. I was there. Sorry. I'm sorry. I got caught up doing something else and didn't find the other ones. Oh, oh okay. Hold on. I know I may have them in mind. Oh, I sent it to me. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> Sister Bernie has a beautiful... um. Home Lifestyle Center. If you want to visit her, this is a beautiful sunrise or sunset sunset view of where she's at. Hold on. Oh, that's just sunset. The sun yes, was setting sunset. there. Sunset view. I'm trying to see. Ooh, listen here. Cracking all up on my neck. Okay. Beautiful place there in Tennessee. And if you want to reach out to her, I'm going to allow her to give her contact. And you can go there, be renewed, refreshed, come back, revitalized, and ready to take on life again. All right? So this is a beautiful, beautiful view of where she is in the countryside. So what are we looking at? Was that mountain across there, Carl? Oh, <laughs> actually, that's just a little mountain somewhere. Okay. That's just right. that's just looking from my backyard. Okay. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Right. Awesome. So that's not a... I have to find... Yeah, you have to the find ones. it to send it to us. Well, yes. I pray that you were blessed today. Miss Bernie, will you tell them how they can locate you and find oh, you? Oh, sure. It's, um, well, my phone number is 631 Let me type it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on so they can see it. They, hopefully, it'll show up on the screen. That's 1631 618 618 5028 5028. Yeah. All right. So if you'd like to reach out to Sister Bernie, um, like I said, she has a home lifestyle center and um, she's been doing this quite some time, not just yeah. today. I, I actually just call it, just come visit Sister Bernie. I don't even call it lifestyle center. Uh, mm -hmm. I just call it, you hanging out with me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So go and hang with Sister Bernie, get rejuvenated, yeah. get fine healing. You know, and I often want to talk about the fact that with cancer, especially breast cancer, we ought to know that emotionally we have to be healed. And um, a lot of this, a lot of breast cancer, yes, it's diet and lifestyle, but it also mm -hmm. has a lot to do with our emotions and the healing process. Yeah. So if you have a bad relationship with your spouse, you haven't forgiven, you need to find that forgiveness in your heart and let go and let God. We've got to forgive. And forgiveness is where it healing begins. You know, a lot of times people don't heal because they choose not to forgive. And um, I remember my friend, Miss Pulley, who's been on this platform many times, sharing about how patients would come to Heartland Lifestyle Center and they would be like, not 
not getting better. And she said, they're supposed to be getting better. And one of the things they would say is, well, okay, here goes a beautiful, okay, awesome. You said, oh, that's, that's nice, just, that's just a hangout that's a nice, spot. <laughs> I'm going to show you that. I was like, yeah. And she was I'm like, oh, have you, have you, have you let go of some things? Sometimes we need to just let go of some things, you know? And the problem is we are not letting go. And that is a yeah. problem. You got to let go yeah. and let God, you know? So here's a debut of where Miss Bernie's at. I wish I could get on that plane and get to her. One day, one day, one day. I can't wait till that day comes and I'll be able to, I can step right up without her knowing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's beautiful rolling hills there in Tennessee. I lived in Tennessee for a while, so I know what Tennessee is beautiful. So, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. So, you know, there are other spots that you can go and find. Oh, yeah. All right. So her number again is 631 618 502. Two eight, all right, sixty one. Let's see here. Uh, That's a picture of just about where the sunset was. I think I yeah. just sent you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I was about to go to YouTube. I mistakenly closed out my page. I was just going to see if anybody was there with a question before we move on. And just do that quickly, and then we're going to wrap up here and say farewell to our. Both our audience, our Zoom audience. I'm so happy to see my lovey in the house. She knows who she is. Lovey, how you doing, darling? <laughs> we share a beautiful granddaughter who was baptized this past um, couple of days ago. Um, and hold on for me. Let me see if I can get to my channel. View mm -hmm. your channel. I just want to see if any questions are over there before we quit, because somebody may have a question over there. So let me make sure of that before we move on. And I just say thank you to those who are part of our Something Better um, audience, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook or um, if you are on our Zoom and in our wellness program. And we thank you for being a part of our program from day to day. And we just ask that you would continue to support this small ministry as God continues to use us to help to reach an, a dying and hopeless and dying world. So many people are so hopeless. So let's see. Quick. Okay, good. So nobody's there talking. All right. So we thank you for joining us. Ms. Bernie, you have any closing thoughts? Ms. Bernie. Sorry about that. Uh, well, just that I just wish everyone, you know, great success in their progress of healing. And if there's anybody out there and with us that has cancer, be not afraid because God tell us, don't be fearful. He says, I don't give you a spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. And we know that God wouldn't say anything that's not true because he's not a man that he should lie. So if mm -hmm. he said, don't be afraid, I'll be with you. I will hold you with my right hand. Mm -hmm. You know, his right hand is the hand that has power. Mm -hmm. It's the right hand has healing. God hold you with his right hand. You have no need to worry. Even though the doctor say you're going to die next week. Just continue to put your trust in God. Because with him, there is life. Amen. 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 Praise God. Nicole? Yes, what I wanted to say that I can see the presentation over again on YouTube. Yes, ma'am. It's on YouTube. We're still on YouTube, actually. So, yes, it's still there. I will go and label it properly um, as soon as we come off here because, you know, you have to label it properly. But it's in our live feed. Anything that would have gone live would be there. That would be there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I just found out that my uncle has prostate cancer. Mm. I would oh. like to help him and work with him. So. Yes, of course. Most definitely. Most definitely. Do you have this? I'm sure you have this book. No, I don't. Oh, you should order one today, Dr. Maimon. Yeah, it's a great book. All the Maybe. different types of cancers are in here. Um, bladder, prostate, rectal, you name it, it's here. Breast cancer. Um, everything's here. Cancer of the brain and children and adults. So that's a good book to have. And so, yeah. So thank you for joining us on our YouTube feed. God bless 